Ignorance of youth is a great tool, but I don't have that anymore. Look out, Barnett starting to feel off. The crowd feels it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. And it's over. A new champion. You love here, everyone. All right, 30 count. We're going to go straight 90. Thirty count twist. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two hands. It's just like if you go hiking. Sometimes it's just a sheer rock cliff. That's it. But that's the path. Josh Barnett has fought all over the world, and he is as good as any that we have seen in the heavyweight division. And if you want to look at it and go, well, I only want to travel. The path that I'm comfortable with, then I suppose you'll you'll be okay with quitting. I guess you'd have to. There you go. Because you didn't really leave yourself an option. Hey, hey. For me, I I have to see this to the end. Barnett turned 38 in November, 18-year career and counting. I just want to go out there and, and walk my path and do it my way, and 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 that's it. Making his USC debut, please welcome Andre Orlovsky. And begin. I wish I'd be 25 right now, you know, but I'm 37. This is a very quick and athletic guy. Seems to have found his mojo again here in the octagon. So I have to train harder, smarter, and stay focused all the time. Unbelievable performance. I'm still hungry and uh, I'm ready to go. I still have a few more years. Take it easy, Andre. That was a pretty old slick move there. He was the number one guy in the UFC, and all the propaganda says, oh yeah, Arlovsky's unbeatable. He's the best heavyweight in the world. The top four of us in pride were thinking, no, I don't think so. He was a killer, but, you know, we were the killer's killers. I needed to make this fight happen. And if I didn't do it now, I probably wouldn't get a chance to do it at all. So I asked for it. <laughs> Maximus, my logo. First of all, I have to beat him in a nice way. I mean, like KO or something. I have to finish him first, but it's gonna be good for it. I guess we have unfinished business. I put a Vulcan mind meld on a Japanese fighter once and I stole some of his language and still the remnants. That and living in Japan for two years.
Shunichi Shimizu, he's a mixed martial artist from Japan, and he is here visiting to train with us. His trainer, Urono Sensei from Japan, sent him because he's sick of him. <laughs> he understands some English. <laughs> One, when I started fighting, there wasn't really that much of an option. So, you know, I've been fighting longer than Arlovsky has. And uh, you, you had to get what you could. So you needed to go out and, like Street Fighter, go find a fight. My King of Pancrase victory over Yuki Kondo in 2003 is considered, for me anyways, my greatest victory in many ways. Defensive assassin Josh Barnett now trying to establish himself as a force in pride. I really enjoyed fighting in Japan. I got to be a part of it at its heyday. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow! I'm glad that I didn't miss the opportunity to be a part of that. Set, 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 set. Oh, 